Hey, nice to see you again. Dominic, the CX guy here. If you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Dominic. I'm a CX expert. I've been a Zendex partner for the past two years. I have eight years of Zendex experience, almost. Um, and I've recently completed a subcontracting agreement with Zendesk where I helped them with the recent surge in projects. So I'm here to share some of that knowledge. Today, we're going to be focusing on um, user segments. And for you, those of you who are unfamiliar with it, user segments is a way for you to uh, streamline content, either internal or external uh, for your customers or for your internal agents um, in such a way that you, um, you provide access to a specific uh, type of content to only a specific type of group of people, which can again be either internal or um, uh, external, so your customers. Um, before we begin, I, um, I am self-conscious about the quality of the image that is coming out of this laptop, so I have uh, ordered a camera which is going to improve the image quality, hopefully, and um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So user segments are used or are being recommended to be used by Senesk as a way for you to um, to segment your knowledge base and allow access to only a specific type of users to access it, right? It's, it's maybe the situation where, for example, you have a, a specific type of user that you want to grant access to a specific kind of content, which may be because of uh, compliance reasons, you, uh, you want to keep that only to uh, a restricted uh, user type. So what we're going to be using today, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating a user segment. And I'm going to show you how to do that in Zendesk. And I'm going to show you how that reflects in the uh, customer experience or the end user experience as we call customers in Zendesk. So um, as you, maybe if you're not familiar the way that the, this works, I usually share my screen and I show you how to do it. So without further ado, let me share my screen. Hopefully you can see my screen. So this is my test account uh, that I use for demos. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our guide first. So in a previous lesson, actually from yesterday, we created a um, knowledge base article and we added it inside a section, which we added inside a category and we then translated it through German. Um, so if you missed it and you think that's beneficial, please go ahead and watch my video from yesterday and yeah, see how to do it. And then today we're going to create an article which we're only going to make available for a certain type of uh, user. Specifically, uh, you can create these, um, these restrictions based on an organization, based on a tag, or just on an individual person. So um, the way that I want you to think about this is that, for example, you have a VIP type of uh, customer and you want them to have access to a gold customer, let's say that you want to see some specific articles that are, that are catering to something which is very specific to their account type or to their subscription type or to the product that they bought type. It's, that's totally up to you and how your business functions. So let's go to guide admin. And we're going to go directly to our user segment. So we have user segment and we have management permissions. Uh, we're not going to go into management permissions. This is going to be a future lesson. So in user segments, uh, we have two built-in ones, which we're not going to go through right now. We're just going to go ahead and create a new one. So add new. All right, so we first have to give it a name, right? So I'm going to call this uh, amazing uh, user segment. I'm very inspired today. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not. Uh, segment. Okay, so who do I want to make this, uh, this user segment available for? Do I want to make it for... Uh, signed in users or for staff. So I want this to be done by signed in users. Now, as you can imagine, I can't create user segments unless I have users signed in, right? So I ask users to sign in with their email and password. And um, this is the only way for me to add a uh, 
segmentation because how will I ever be able to pick up on a user which has not uh, logged in? So this requires me to uh, have it for signed in users. All right, so what are my attributes that I want to use? So as I was saying a little bit earlier, I can create this user segment based on organizations like users and organizations matching all of these tags. Um, I don't want to have organizations. I just want to be able to, um, to filter by a tag. So I'm going to create my, um, my user segment just by the criteria of my user needing to have a tag added against them. And we're going to add that tag. So now continuing the lesson, users and organizations matching any of these tags. So if you're, if you're familiar with business rules inside Zendesk, you know that you have either matching all conditions or matching any conditions, right? Um, I'm not going to go in through the details of this because this is going to be a future video and where I talk about the difference uh, about these in business rules. So I can make, for example, again, my user segment uh, by adding users to a certain organization. This is also a very nice way to um, be able to filter and create um, user segments because obviously you just, for example, create an organization, you add a domain name, and whenever somebody reaches out from that domain name at Coca-Cola, for example, automatically they get put into this bucket or organization of Coca-Cola, and then you just create the user segment based on that. So I am going to, as I said, I'm going to create, or by individual users, I just want to finish this idea, by individual users, right? So I can just go ahead and add users by hand that I think should belong in this, um, in this specific use, uh, use case. But what I said that we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a tag. So I click here and I have my tags available. I'm going to uh, filter by a tag which, already exists in the system and it's called amazing. <laughs> so I like this tag a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and create the segment. All right, so user segment has been successfully created, right? So I have my amazing user segment that I just created. It's for the signed in users and it was edited very, uh, very early. <laughs> so six seconds ago, what I need to do now is I need to go on the article level and I need to add this um, visibility option. So who is that article available to be seen by? And I want to add this um, specific type of restriction based on a uh, user site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new article very quickly. And I'm going to add it just in English. I'm not going to... Um, bother adding a translation. So an article which is used for amazing user segment. I'm going to copy the text. I'm going to just paste it a few times because that's not relevant. All right, so who is this going to be managed by? This is going to be managed by editors and publishers. That's good. Now, who is this going to be visible to? Either everyone, signed in users, all of them, agents and admins, or my newly created user segment. So amazing segment. And I choose it. I don't want it to be open for, oh, sorry, publishing and section. I'm going to choose a hierarchy. I have created this yesterday, which is a laptops category. And then I have a MacBooks section and I'm going to add the article here. I'm not going to leave it open for comments. I'm going to promote it because I want you to see it as standing out inside the home page. So it's a little bit more, well, a little bit more obvious. All right, so the authors, Dominic, myself, owner, blah. Labels, no labels, no thank you. All right, so now I'm just going to publish this. Now, I'm going to navigate to the home, to the home, um, sorry, to the home page of the guide. I am, I am logged in right now as an uh, administrator, as you can notice by the tab at the top. So I am obviously able to see this because as an administrator, I can be a badass and basically see everything. Um, but what I want to do is I want to open this in incognito. So you will see what I mean. So this is a private navigation and I'm going to open it. And here we go. 
Whoa, okay, so I have two categories, laptops in general, but I don't see that promoted article. So where is it? Here it is. I'm an admin and I can see it, but I am an end user and uh, there is no article. This means that I am not logged in, obviously, right? So I'm not logged in. And uh, yeah, so I should log in and I should have a tag. So let me log in with this test email that I use. And it's, oh, I think I remember the password. By the way, I do these videos uncut and unedited because real life has no take backs. And usually in a meeting, if I stumble or mumble, you know, that's life. You can't really take that back. So I'm just going to keep these live. I am busy enough as it is, and I don't have time to do editing. So just this is just the way it is right now. I apologize if I, well, doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so my article is not here. The reason why, so I'm logged in as an ad, as an end user. I am able to submit a request, but I do still don't see the promoted article which was created for that user segment. Why this is? It's because I don't have that tag, right? So I am logged in as an end as a signed user. I'm logged in as an uh, end user, but I do not have that tag added, so I can't see the article. What I need to do is I need to go back to my support. I need to look for that end user, Dominic, at this old email that I use. Don't email me here, please. Use my hi at Dominic CX. All right, so users, this guy. Here we go. So this is the profile of this user. I don't have any tags added to them. So this is an end user. So let's add amazing to this tag which we'd created as a restriction in the, um, in the user segment. All right, good. So now I refresh. And now I'm going to navigate to my incognito window where I am logged in as that guy, All right? So let's see my profile and let's confirm edit profile. Here we go, email. So it's that guy, right? Good. Now let's go back here, refresh, and here's the promoted article, which is especially created for this user that has this tag amazing. This user can be a part of an organization which I can add to my user segment, or it can be anything I want. Here's my very interesting text. <laughs> anyway, anyway uh, this was the lesson for today. Um, I tried to do these bite-sized lessons where I share best practices, I share how to build it, I share how to uh, experience looks like for an agent, how it looks like for an admin, and how it looks like for a customer, right? And then I give you some best practices. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the format. And um, I hope you enjoy. And if you have any special content requests, please write me a comment in the uh, below this video, I'd be very grateful. It helps the algorithm. And yeah, if you've seen my following, it's just like my mom and me. So, <laughs> so I could really use the following. So thanks. See you again tomorrow.